Hello, this is Major J1, and I just thought I would make a little short video update of my workshop right now. And then I'm going to clean it up because it's a little messy, as you can see. Um, but I've just got like tons of projects out that I started and ran into problems, or I just didn't got bored of them or something like that. So I've got tons of projects up there, and still haven't cleaned up that stuff yet. Um, but I got some more stuff, so I've got to do a little bit of a cleanup here before I break into the new stuff and make a video of that. Um, but I got some pretty good stuff this time, so you'll have to wait for that. But so yeah, um, so I'll probably be making a video of those things um, once I clean it up. So yeah. All right, so I've done a bit of a cleanup, and wow, does it look a lot better! I can actually walk in here without stubbing my toes on anything. But I put that wire that was here all on this spool. It's a little bent, but because of the weight of those three right there, they're really heavy. Um, but I should probably spread them out, like move them over or something like that. But it's good for now. Um, but I just put some L brackets on the wall there, and it works. Um, what else? Yep, the bed, the bench is all cleaned up, and here's the stuff. So I guess we'll get into that. All right, so these are probably the best things I got out of all the things. Um, these are little oscilloscopes. I've never seen oscilloscopes this small. Um, but on one of the circuit boards it says copyright um, 1971 for this one and copyright 1972 for this one. Even though this one looks a lot old, a little bit older. I mean it's exactly the same. Everything's exactly the same except well the boards are very similar except that the components on this one are much older looking. So the transistors are different. I mean, they, they're still in the same exact spots. It's the same design of board. So I guess this board was designed in 1971. But they're both, I don't know. It doesn't make sense to me. But this one works. Um, this one actually has batteries in it too. Um, there's two battery packs. Um, but it works really good. Um, I mean, I don't know how it's... It actually can store the, um, the waveform. So here, I'll, um, so I've got all my controls over here. I don't know what these were out of, but it has two inputs. I just have it up, hooked up to my um, little frequency generator up here. But um, so it's on single sweep. So this is off single sweep right now. Turn off store. So if I turn this door on, so it scans the screen or whatever. Let me erase it. Okay, so now if I turn off my frequency generator. Whoops, when it turned off it kind of made some weird waves there, but that's what it looks like when it's stored. So here, let me clear it again. Okay, so if I do single sweep, so that's one sweep of the wave across there. So now if I depress the store button and bring it back, this is the same wave, but it's a little bit deformed right there, but so I'm kind of thinking it might save it on the phosphorus screen here somehow. Um, but I'm not really sure. Because, I mean, there's no nowhere near enough components here. And, I mean, there's no big processor chips or anything like that to save these wa waveforms. So I'm guessing it's saved on the screen somehow. But I don't really know. So, yeah, these are pretty cool. I've never seen something like this before. So I guess we'll get into the other stuff. Um, so... This little TV, um, I don't know what, it's not that big, probably 8 inches. Um, but I got this because it has a um, BNC connector on it. And that should work with my um, video camera here. This old TV camera, whatever it is. So hopefully that should work. Um, and then I got this SuperCal. I'm guessing it's for calibrating things. The name kind of indicates that, but I don't really know. But I, uh, it does seem to work. The battery is totally dead in it, but um, it, the main thing I got it for, it can measure frequency, so that's really nice. Um, this uh, oscilloscope, don't know if it works. It, well, it doesn't seem to work, but it seems like a fairly new one. I think it's from uh, like 2004 or something like that, maybe 2000. Um, but it's got a, a LCD screen here, probably color, but I think it's a computer actually too. But, I mean, when you plug it in, it doesn't, nothing happens. But it's got USB ports, uh, mouse, keyboard, 
um, video output, so it seems like it's a computer in there too, and it's got computer slots here too. So I have to take that apart, and hopefully it's just a blown fuse or some pops capacitor or some or some easy like that, and it'll work again. I hope. Um, don't know. But here's all the other stuff. Um, we'll just go through this, I guess. Big capacitor. Um, um, 200 watt resistors. These, this one's uh, 25 ohms. This one's 4 ohms. A Budsen burner. Finally, I found one of these. So, hopefully, that I could connect it up to natural gas or something like that and um, run my Sterling engine on that. Um, just a uh, readout. Um, I'm not really sure. It says passive coupler. I don't know what that is. So, I just grabbed that. I'll pop it open and see what's inside of it. Um, some little wireless uh, remote things. Uh, another one of these computing timers. I got this one because it actually has the case which has the wiring diagram. So that should be... So I should be able to figure out how to use those now. Um, DC millivolt amplifier. Um, I guess it's just a little amplifier. I thought it might be useful. So I don't know. I'll have to figure out if that works or not. Um, what else do we have? bunch of uh, DC to DC converters. I'll have to look up the specs on these ones. Uh, I'm not sure what what voltages that they're for. Um, some little LED seven segment displays. Um, nickel cadmium batteries and they're brand new basically. I mean kind of. But I mean they've never been used before but that it doesn't look like they have been not corroded too badly. Um, not really sure what this is. It's a little, what does it sound here? Floraware? Don't know what that is. Oh, I don't know. But it's glass. I don't know. Something weird. Um, soldering iron, another one. Some, I guess this is shielding. It's too thin to be PCB. So, I mean, it does have a layer between the copper. It might actually be foam. No, I don't think it's foam. Um, just a prep board. Somebody's little circuit on there they were building. I'll have to figure out what that is, maybe. Maybe it's useful. Um, another prep board. This one doesn't have any traces on it. It's just holes. Um, some little uh, solid-state relays. Another... Um, DC to DC converter, 5 volts input, doesn't say the output though. Mouse, laser mouse, some large bearings. Don't know what I will use those for. Um, these are kind of neat. They're the, like those little clicker things that you find in, a few people I've seen on YouTube use them. They've just got a ton, ton of terminals on the back. And you connect, it's basically a switch, it just switches between the different ones. And they connect them up to a ton of resistors. And then they can get a basically variable resistor. But this one is actually a 10K variable resistor. So right now it is probably, well, at 999 it would be about 10K. So that's kind of cool. A um, bunch of little uh, crystals or, yeah, just sorted. Um, some, actually these are uh, MOSFETs. These are the good kind, the, uh, what are they? The IRF 730. I think those are the high amp ones. I don't remember. There's a few other MOSFETs in here too. This is IRF, IRF 930. No, 9530. Oh. So yeah, that's pretty neat. Box of fuses. Not sure what the value is. Relays. Um, what else do we have here? Just some random um, standoffs and stuff in there bunch more chips that were just kind of yep um, some switches and these were all in bags um, like bags like this size and all these components different ones were stuffed in there I mean like this was in a bag and this was in a bag I don't I don't quite know what these would have been for I guess it kind of seems like it was kits or something but I mean there's components dumped all the resistors in here some good resistors so that's nice. Yeah, there's little SMD components in here, so that's pretty cool. Um, a lot of diodes there. So yeah, that's about everything. Um, so yeah, 
got lots of cool stuff. Um, thanks for watching.